Episode 189, UST. When Rex got close to the village, the poison acted up again. Affected by the white ginger, he entered in a daze and was stuck there for a while. He saw Blair's figure everywhere, looking at him from a short distance, smiling at him. She was so quiet that she was like a plant that emitted a floral fragrance. He carefully got closer, but Blair turned into a long and thin plant. No, those Blairs were all fake. They weren't real. He was thinking of this when the toxicity seemed to get increasingly intense. Rex had even heard the familiar and crisp voice. She was calling his name. It was fake. A hallucination. Rex's gaze sharpened, and he rapidly pounced toward the direction of the voice. <gasps> Blair gasped and fell to the ground. However, she saw that it was Rex and thus wasn't afraid. Blair opened her mouth and said in pleasant surprise, Rex, you're finally back. The white tiger suddenly froze. His round silver pupils quickly contracted reflecting the female's happy expression. Blair's shoulder was being stepped on, but she didn't seem to notice it at all. She touched the tiger's head and asked, What's the matter? Did you get hurt? Roar? The clarity in Rex's eyes that he had forcibly hung on to dissipated. He turned and looked at the face of the female under his paw. His scarred tiger face emitted the naivety of a young beast man. Stephanie who had backed off a few steps from the surprise, saw Rex stopping and let out a sigh of relief. She then tried to speak up. Your Majesty? The muscles on the tiger's body tensed up abruptly, and he looked towards Stephanie. He saw another Blair. Rex was so enraged that he stepped down on the body under his paw with a greater force, then charged out toward the Blair in front of him, letting out a low warning growl. (gasps) Stephanie went limp and dropped to the ground. She looked at the white tiger in horror and crawled backward. You're stepping on me. It hurts. Blair thought about it, then assessed Rex. The black stripes on the white tiger's body were like the white ginger in the flower field, concealing him well. It was just that there was an abrupt dark color object that stood out amongst the flowers. Blair's eyes opened wide and stared at his member. Did Rex go into heat because of the white ginger? He'll be fine after he quiets down, right? Therefore, Blair didn't move at all. She just stared at Rex, wanting to see the full effect of the white ginger. Rex managed to chase away a fake Blair with his glare and was feeling relieved when he lowered his head and saw that the Blair under his foot was still there. He let out a roar. (gasps) How out of it are you? Blair yelled, feeling that the force of the paw on her shoulder had gotten stronger. Even her bones were in pain, and she couldn't help but start to put up a struggle again. Blood dripped on her clean skin as Rex's nails pierced through. Blair grabbed onto Rex's front leg, wanting to pry it away. Sensing the scent of blood... Rex couldn't help but loosen the force on his foot, but he kept his eyes fixed on Blair. Suddenly feeling the weight on top of her becoming lighter, Blair quickly moved back, saying, Rex, quickly wake the fuck up. What happened to you? The white tiger shook his head vigorously. He couldn't hold on anymore? This hallucination was too strong and he wasn't able to get rid of it. Blair felt a surge of strength course through her body. Rex, if you continue being like this, I'm going to get mad. You know I have Stephen and Roger's strength sometimes. It was just that now Rex had completely sunken into hallucination and couldn't think that much. All he could do was act on his instinct. Blair stared at Rex's body as his muscles convulsed with every breath. He looked like a Greek god, but he was acting completely crazy. The threat of death made Rex's breathing turn heavy. More and more pollen entered his lungs, and his breathing grew increasingly heavy. The desire in his lower body speedily swelled up. 
Blair became wide-eyed. Perhaps the white ginger rubbed off on her as well, but she too began breathing heavily upon seeing the look on Rex's face. Blair knew what Rex wanted. Something wild came over Blair, too. Suddenly, she felt someone tearing her clothes from the back. Then, with a loud rip, the animal skin was yanked off her chest. Blair was caught by surprise. She smacked the white tiger with all her might, causing him to act out even more. Is that what you want? She smacked him across the face once again. Come on, then. I can play rough, too. Humph! A puff of hot breath emitted from the white tiger's nostrils. Clarity and the desire to live had completely vanished from the depths of his eyes, and all that remained was a maniac desire. Although Blair wasn't hallucinating, she felt a sudden urge of wild lust swim across her. Rex crouched low, his lower body twitching urgently. Feeling that the fabric was getting in his way, he brutally tore it off with his hind limbs in the blink of an eye, leaving several bloodied streaks that were shallow on her skin. The adrenaline mixed with the air in the field made it so that Blair too felt no pain. In fact, she was getting more and more libidinous. She launched herself at Rex as they fell to the ground with Blair on top of him. She glanced at the scratches on her shoulder and smacked Rex a few times more. Blair realized what was going on, making her heart skip a beat. She found her hand reaching for Rex's lower body. The next moment, she felt a pain in her private parts, causing her to let out a euphoric cry. She bit Rex's shoulder as hard as she could, her teeth grazing the throbbing muscles as he started moving his body haphazardly in accordance with his instincts. Under the influence of the medication and poison, Rex had lost all of his rationality. All he knew was the crazy desire to possess Blair. A female's lust-filled cries could be heard coming from the grass. A trembling Stephanie crawled over. After taking one glance, she started shaking, witnessing the two in front of her engaged in what could be called an angry mating session. Blair stared into Stephanie's eyes, her sweetness now turned into a lustful smirk. As time went on, amidst the sea of flowers, the female's voice became increasingly raspy with a hint of sweetness as it melded together with the male's heavy breathing. Roar! Upon hearing their mommy's voice, the leopard cubs came running over. Before they came closer, Blair spoke. Stay where you are. Go play some more. Mommy is busy teaching the Tiger King some manners. She grabbed Rex's throat and applied slight pressure on it. The deep growl of a tiger rang, and the movements in the grass halted. The female's loud moans, too, stopped. Blair, too, reached climax. After Rex finished venting, the clarity in his eyes resumed. He lowered his gaze, and a horrified expression instantly clouded his face. He got to his feet and retreated backward. Growl! Blair let out a moan, and her body twitched a little. Now that the adrenaline wore off Blair, her strength dissipated. It hurt so bad. It hurt from head to toe. Her body felt heavy as though it had sunk into a quagmire. She wasn't even able to even lift a finger. Blair took a deep breath and looked up and glanced at the white tiger briefly before retracting her gaze. She then looked towards her right arm. Indeed, the tattoo of a tiger had appeared there. Rex glanced at the tiger tattoo on Blair's arm, his expression even more terrified than Blair's. Her mates were going to see it. In his heart was a mixture of joy, horror, and despair. Seeing that Blair was staring at his spousal mark, Rex didn't even dare to blink. The color of blood had drained from his face, and even his scar wore a tinge of paleness. Blair gently touched the tiger tattoo. Was she going to get Rex's strength? Rex's body trembled as well, as he squeezed out a nervous sound from his throat. Oh. Are you all right now? 
Blair stared at him warily. Rex transformed into a human, still looking horrified. Did all of that really happen? Looking at Blair head to toe, the emotions in Rex's eyes turned into despair. Still, he refused to give up and asked, Can you please not remove the spousal mark? I, I'll never do this to you again. Just let me be your guardian like in the past. Was he afraid of Roger and Stephen finding out? He had tried to overpower Blair, but she turned the tables on him. Blair cast a glance at him and said nothing. Having lived ambiguously with Rex for such a long time, and benefited from his care all this while, she had no idea how to end such an awkward relationship. Now that the die was cast, the unresolved sexual tension she had been feeling actually dissipated. She did feel fondness towards Rex and wasn't averse to having sexual relations with him. She had sensed the abnormality in Rex's body early on, and she believed that some partners do like to play rough. But there are rules that must be followed. Blair knew how to make sure no male would ever take advantage of her. She, too, had certain unfulfilled fantasies. However... How should she explain things to Stephen and Roger? With a gloomy face, Blair buried her head in her knees. She didn't dare to go home. Although Stephen had said that he could accept her having a tiger spouse, that was what he said back in the cold season. Now that the cold season had passed, would his words still count? Even if they could accept Rex, Blair felt too ashamed to face them. Back then, she had said with conviction that she only wanted the two of them as her spouses. Ah! She felt like running away from home. Rex crawled to Blair's side and reached out a hand to touch his spousal mark. But before his hand made contact with her arm, he retracted his hand at the speed of lightning. I'll take you home. The roars of the young cubs sounded from the grass. The three leopard cubs ran over to surround their mother. Seeing that the Tiger King wasn't as scary as earlier, Stephanie also crawled over with trepidation. Blair? Blair felt her brain short circuit. Her head jerked up instantly. Damn, why were they all here? Was this the effect of the white ginger? Rex abruptly pulled her into his arms. He took in a deep breath and closed his eyes yearning to shoulder all the pain by himself. It was my fault. I won't blame you if you choose to remove my spousal mark, Rex said with agony. Nonetheless, his gaze was filled with gentleness as he looked at her. Let's go back first. Your injuries look serious. Who said anything about removing the spousal mark? Said Blair with a smirk. Rex froze abruptly. His heart skipped a beat, and his breathing halted as well. You can't tell Stephen and Roger about how we made it. Especially you, Stephanie. Don't tell anyone either. 